local anesthetic just above the collarbone. Vascular surgeon Dr. Bertram Smith explains what's involved in patient Roger Roach's upcoming fistula procedure. When we do the surgery, you'll have a little incision right here. The fistula, which will be placed in his arm, makes an entrance into the bloodstream for kidney dialysis, which Mr. Roach will soon need. He thinks that if we do it now, I don't go on dialysis in six months to a year, that it will be, be fine. There are two types of access portals for dialysis that vascular surgeons commonly use. A graft uses a plastic tube to connect an artery to a vein. Grafts can be used within two to six weeks and sometimes even sooner. The fistula joins an existing artery to a vein to allow more blood flow. It takes two to three months for a fistula to be ready for dialysis. Both are outpatient procedures. Fistulas using the patient's own vein and artery are preferred because they last longer and are less prone to infection. Tests determine the best placement for an access portal. Well, the first thing we do is do an ultrasound of the veins of the arm. Regardless of how big they look, we want to see with ultrasound how large they actually are and if there's any previous scar tissue on the inside of the vein that might preclude it from getting large. A vascular surgeon is a vital link for dialysis patients, working closely with nephrologists or kidney doctors. We get our patients evaluated by nephrology and they determine when dialysis is necessary. Then we become the mechanism whereby dialysis can be achieved. And to do that, we have to have a way for the patient's blood to get out of them through a machine and back. I feel reassured that everything will be fine. Ask your doctor about your risks for vascular disease. Visit vascularweb.org to find a vascular specialist and learn more about vascular wellness.